everyone, this is Holly from Hot Humble Pie. Welcome to my channel if you're new and a big warm hello to my subscribers. I love you guys. So we're going shopping again at my Dollar Tree. It is Valentine time and I thought it would be fun to take you guys shopping with me so you have an idea what I'm stocking up with for crafting but also some personal items as well that I love at the Dollar Tree when I come across them. So this is a new Dollar Tree. This is actually in the opposite direction of my other favorite two Dollar Trees. It's a small Dollar Tree but I often find little treasures in here. It's by the beach and I thought it would be fun to check out and I find these round signs. I absolutely love them. I, they're going to be perfect for DIYs. I picked up two of them all together and then I turn to my left and I see that there's some cute festive ribbon that I might use in some of my DIYs so I pick up a roll of that. I'll tell you I was shopping at Hobby Lobby for ribbon when I made my video on how to make bows and ribbon is definitely a great deal at the Dollar Tree so stock up on ribbon from the Dollar Tree whenever you get a chance unless you have a coupon or things are on sale the Dollar Tree is a great deal. So you can see I'm just grabbing signs here and different things that I know I'm gonna DIY with. I think they're really cute and I have some great ideas. And now I'm just kind of showing you the selection at this particular Dollar Tree. This is their Valentine Day aisle. It's pretty good, it's pretty cute. There's some cute things out, definitely. I see some really cute doilies. I always love to pick these up because they are very festive to work with. I only picked up white. I, the pink for me is a little bit too dark and so is the red, but those definitely could be pretty DIYs. And look, they have these mailboxes again. For those of you that follow my channel, I made a super cute Christmas mailbox out of one of these. And I thought these were really cute. I have a good DIY plan for those as well. And these are my window transfers at this Dollar Tree. They actually had some, which other Dollar Trees that I go to do not, but I don't really care for any of those. They're not quite my style, even though they're super cute, but I do see this Buffalo check scarf, and I'm gonna grab that for a DIY. Here's their wall full of different Valentine's Day shapes and signs. I'm just kind of showing you what the selection is at this Dollar Tree. This Dollar Tree isn't really far away from me. It's about a 15 minute drive. It's just in the opposite direction of anything else that I normally visit. So, you know, when I go out, I try to kill two birds with one stone. So <laughs> I don't go to this one very often but I was there in the area and I, like I said, I know they sometimes have some real gems in here even though it's a small Dollar Tree. So I find these little mason jars. Those are always great for DIYs and I grab one and I love these. I think these are fun for DIYs. I have something cute planned for those as well. And I didn't buy this sign, but I just want to show you how cute that is. You don't even really need to DIY that. That is just, I think, a super cute sign to hang in your house and, you know, it would be an addition to your DIY Valentine crafts. So super cute. And of course they have the wreath little frames there and look, they have a gnome. They have the Valentine day gnome. I should have known the gnomes are so popular and it looks like people are buying them up. And I was hoping to find the rubber little hearts there, but they have the felt stickers. So I grabbed the felt ones and I'm gonna go ahead and grab two of these rectangles angle signs because again they come in really really handy to DIY with and these are also great shapes to DIY with and I found some pretty decent flowers there that I picked up and this Dollar Tree has already brought out their summer plant pots so I was really surprised about that the other Dollar Trees have not they're early in the game and they have some cute little gnomes and these are actually garden gnomes and I thought, you know, look at those. Those are super cute if you want to put them in a little plant pot. And then they have this fake food, which I notice comes out around Valentine's Day. So I don't know if that's kind of becoming a thing now. I think it's a great, a great decor piece for Valentine's Day. You really can't do it for any other holiday off the top of my head. It's got the right colors. And these make great tiered tray decors. So keep your eye out for them. They're super cute. 
and I'm just picking up some of these terracotta pots. Those are going to be a DIY as well. And some of these mariachi beads. Now a bunch of you came on and said they're called Mardi Gras beads. Here on the west coast they got integrated into another festivity of mariachi which a lot of people believe comes from the French word marriage and they also kind of handed out beads as part of their tradition so those same beads are used as part of that festivities but it does appear after my research online that their tradition and their this kind the plastic little silvery kind were used first as Mardi Gras beads and they were originally glass also called throws and were handed out since 1920 in the Mardi Gras festivities so a little bit of trivia there for you it's fun and the Dollar Tree has these really neat plant pots where they're like three and they're stackable that would make a great herbal garden I think so here's the wood pieces this dollar tree even though it's small it is mighty as far as wood stuff goes this is where i am gonna go this will be my go-to for wood stuff because this has a lot of wood as you can see i don't think people realize that so they are well stocked and here is the candle section here i'm just kind of checking it out and i saw these super cute little coffee and hot cocoa look how cute that would be during the holidays or fall for a tiered tray but what I liked is that they have those little lights behind them and you can illuminate them and I just thought that was so cute and so clever and this style of nautical rope is often hard to come by in my other two dollar trees again they're really well stocked I think the secret is they're kind of in an inconvenient location and they're small and it really looks like a hole in the wall so people drive by and they just assume there's nothing in that store but boy oh boy I was really surprised it's better than it's ever been since I have visited it in the past so here's some other cute ideas for Valentine's Day you can see there's those little glass like trays candy trays those would make cute DIYs and I go ahead and I pick up one of these and one of these and I'm going to plan on making a DIY out of that as well now this is a new product and I was really excited and I want to tell you guys I'd never bought it before but I tried it and I tried it on some rug stains because we're in a rental right now just temporarily and I will oh my gosh the stains looked like they had been there forever and I didn't even rub them. I just sprayed it and they came out and they didn't discolor the rug. Now I would definitely not recommend doing it without doing a color fast test in a small inconspicuous area first, but wow, that cleans carpets and that was an unexpected use for that. So you can see the kind of stuff I'm grabbing. I'm grabbing this paper right here, this wrapping paper. It's wedding paper and I just think that will make such cute DIY like craft paper for Valentine's Day and they have the kid puzzles here which if you pick you know you can see the back there they make great wood signs for your DIYs as well this is also a new product at least at this Dollar Tree I've never seen it in my other Dollar Trees it's spray glue but it's actually like an aerosol and I did use it for some DIYs I made this week and it was fantastic so I recommend you pick that up and of course whenever I see the chunky black markers I pick them up because I use those in place of black paint for doing my lettering I also wanted to show you that heart shaped sign real quick that heart shaped sign I got one at Walmart that's identical and so I will be crafting with that so if you wanted to copy me and follow along with my crafts you might want to keep your eye out for that heart shaped sign at the Dollar Tree and of course they had that sign that said heart which would be cute for a Valentine Day DIY they had these stencils and I finally found a Dollar Tree that has pretty decent rub-on transfers. So I picked this sheet up here. Look at that. That is so perfect for Valentine's Day. So if you see it, make sure you pick one up. And they also have this very beautiful one here for spring and Easter DIYs. I will be using this one as well. So I always love to go check out the cute mugs at the Dollar Tree, but I actually got distracted by what I saw at the bottom here, this charger. Look at how gorgeous this is. This would have made a beautiful winter DIY, which I just got done to doing two videos, but I went to Ross afterwards and lo and behold, look what's at Ross. And it was $4.99 over there. So if you see this at the Dollar Tree, make sure you pick one up because you can DIY it for next year. 
And I'm going to grab one of these trays. I have another DIY planned for Valentine's Day with this tray here. And I'm back to the mugs. This week's choice is this super cute one, simmer down and roll with it. I think that's a great life motto to live by. So I do end up picking some pizza trays up because I'm going to do some more crafts with that. You all seem to really enjoy those when I do those. And I've already made some awesome Valentine Day DIYs. I can't wait to share them. I'm uploading this Tuesday. And until then, breathe deep, fret not, and do things that make you happy.